Hi, Irene. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good How evening. are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Very well, too. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Irene, but I'm, I'm, I have this situation from work. Very good. All right, so Irene, you work on Saturdays or you don't work Saturdays? No, I, I don't work the, the Saturday until the, from the Monday to Friday. Okay, very good. Uh, and you work from 8 to 5? What's your schedule? Yes, uh, from 8 to 5. Okay. All right, very nice. But uh, nowadays I am a uh, home office. Yeah. Oh, really? Only <laughs> yes, only some days I went. Uh, you go to, to the, the office. The office. Uh -huh. All right. Ah, oh, very nice. Interesting. Do you like to work home office? Sorry. Do you like to work home office? No. I you don't, don't like, like it. it. <laughs> Why, Irene? No, I, I prefer the... The office. In, in, in the office. Oh, why? Because in the, in the house, I, I have many... <laughs> many things to do. Many, many things to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And for they uh, take care of some things, mm -hmm. I of take care the other right. thing yeah of course yeah mm -hmm. it's more difficult i think yes in my song speak speak i <laughs> i have gone attention <laughs> yeah how old is your son and uh, my my son has um, 11 years old. Uh, he, he, he is 11, 11 years old yes old. uh-huh ah all right okay <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Okay, very, only one child, Irene? Only one child. Okay, right. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's enough. Yeah, very good. Okay, and right now he's he's taking his classes online, right? Uh, Your yes, son uh, is taking his he, classes. Uh -huh, online. Yeah. It's very difficult for he too. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Uh -huh. right. Many, yeah. many, many homework. I know. I know. All right. Yeah. It's difficult. Hi, yeah. Ellie. Hi, teacher. Good How evening. Are you? Good evening. How are you, Ellie? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, Ellie. ¿Cómo va todo con el colegio y la escuela y todo, Ellie? Poniéndome al día, teacher. Me atrasé como tres semanas. Sí, ¿verdad? Pero ya ahorita me estoy poniendo al día. Yeah, very nice. All right. Eli, but I think we're going to finish the school online, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because the ministra. Yeah. Uh, say the don't return the class. Mm -hmm. That um that insecurity for, right. for the children and the students right yes okay okay now ellie is the school like the is the uh, colegio or the the other school are they working on like a plan for next year or not not <sighs> Actually, it is only this year. Mm -hmm. For the next year, don't have any plan. Any plans? Okay. For the moment. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I, I I don't know, but I think that I don't know. We're not. I, I don't think we're coming back this year presencial for the children. I think right now the ministra and the ministry and everything they should be thinking about how next year is going to be with all the things that are need to be taken into account and everything. Yes, uh, don't have any plan. Don't. In the college, mm -hmm. in the Don Bosco school, mm 
Yeah. Don't don't say say me any any plan. Only only present. Okay. Only present. Right. Uh, we we go we are working in the third period. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um. I have the. This is this is jornalización. Yes. Mm -hmm. The planning. Yeah. The planning for only three three periods. Right. Yeah. My my boss. Um. My boss. I come. My boss comment to me that um the four per period. Yes. This is online. Online too. Yeah. Of course. Alright. Sí. sí, porque de primero habían dicho que, que tal vez regresábamos en septiembre y que iban a ir por grupos. Así poquito. Va. Ajá. Un poquito, un poquito un día o la tercera parte el lunes y ahí el martes y así. Pero mm -hmm. así bien difícil iba a estar. A sí. saber. Por lo pronto todo lo hemos manejado así que ahorita terminar el tercer periodo e iniciar el cuarto en línea. Ok. Sí. Sí, yo creo que a esta altura we're going to finish online, ¿verdad? Sí, lo más seguro. Vea, yeah, very good. Sí, de repente esto es como complicado, ¿no? Porque es igual, ya terminamos online este año, pero esto no se va a ir ya. Entonces es Exacto. como que deberían de, digo, como ministerio, pues. Deberían de empezar a pensar ya el otro año, si es que eso ya, o sea, este año ya lo terminamos en línea. Ahora right, sí. yo creo que eso ya no hay duda, ahora right, porque ya estamos en <ríe> O sea, pretty much, ¿verdad? So, el año escolar se acaba en octubre, finales de octubre. Pero ¿qué va a pasar next year? Porque ya enero ya va a ser, o sea, eso ya está. <ríe> sí, right, sí so... ahorita va a ser bien difícil. Ahí tienen que ver ellos cómo adelantarse, porque, o sea, hemos ido, ido, hemos ido siempre sobre la marcha, ¿va? Sí. No hemos ¿verdad? creado algo más avanzado para trabajar, Ajá. aunque se han estado formando los maestros mucho. Nosotros de hecho estamos en una capacitación de, Ajá. de las plataformas, de claro. las diversas plataformas y todo eso, porque incluso lo han tirado para los maestros de privadas también, right. no solo okay. para las públicas. Ah, ok, that's interesting. All right, very good. Ok. Well, yeah, we, we need to wait to see what happens. Um, next year <laughs> yes right yeah very good <laughs> hi jose luis hi 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 everybody hi oscar how good was evening. your day good evening i was wondering where's oscar <laughs> <laughs> well here i am i was oh i'm sorry to be late though, but no that's I okay was, i i uh, i was passing through, through the Living room. I'm, uh -huh. I was passing through the living room and I saw the. I was watching. My family was watching the news. Oh my goodness! I'm really amazed of the new captures. Is, is that captures? Of what? What do you mean? Uh, people. I mean. Oh, when people get like the last, yeah? the last two minister, ministers, ministers of defense, mm -hmm. the last, and also. Um, well, well, Marisa Fune will already know. And yeah. also, <laughs> uh, a guy named Arena Lopez Davis or something like oh, that. Oh, my God. Wow, they, they were really busy. I'm sorry to relate like this. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> it sounded interesting. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's funny because I never watch the news, Oscar. I, no, I know. Uh -huh. Yeah, like I bear, I mean, almost never watch the news. All right. My mom was always like telling me you should watch the news i'm like mom i don't have time to watch the news <laughs> you're right many many people don't, don't watch the news but you know i i watch news in english uh, uh -huh. CNN and bbc right yeah of course and i and i got vocabulary of uh, course I refresh vocabulary yes yeah uh, for sure yeah That's i like good. news i like news a lot but as you say uh, I don't have me neither. I don't have uh, so much time to. That's right. To spend, yeah. Right. To spend uh, watching watching news. 
Right. But it's, yeah. it's good for English. Well, yeah, I believe no, it's good. Yeah, no, it is, it is. You know, most of the time, when I have time to watch TV, I usually watch it in English. All right. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, sometimes I don't even have time to turn it on, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult. But you know what? My children, especially now that they're at home, they, they watch TV in English. So I'm always listening to it, so that helps. <laughs> well, I... I can't con convince my, my daughters to, really? my daughters to, wish, to watch TV in English. Oh my they, goodness. They really, they don't really want to know anything about English right now. All right, okay. But it's, it's the better, I mean, the early stages. That's right, yes. It's, it's better to learn a language in the early stages. Yeah, uh, yeah that's right. That's of the your best life, way. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, because you learn it like a native speaker. Uh -huh. The way it is. Okay, bless you. Oh my goodness, oh, thank Jesus. you. Jesus. Oh no! Okay. But I'm here, okay. you're there. <laughs> All right, okay. yeah. Very let, good. Let me, let me turn on my light because uh, I'm. Oh, that. okay, very good. All right. <laughs> okay. Hi, Gerardo. Gerardo, Gerardo, are you there? Hi, Gerardo. Hey, teacher. How are you today? <laughs> He's tired. He's sleepy. <laughs> oh, okay. There's another, no. another uh, news, Gerardo. Uh, audio. Oh, your audio. All right. And also Barcelona loses. Oh yeah, many, I heard. For many goals. For like many about goals. eight or something, right? Or how many? Eight to two. Eight goals? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm happy about that. <laughs> y no me molesten. <laughs> no me molesten. Your oh, yes. oh my goodness, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What can I say? <laughs> No kidding. Eh? Uh, you know, in my family, it's funny because my son is Barça and my husband yeah. is Real. <laughs> so they're and always you? like, oh, like whatever, Danny. I'm nothing. Uh, <laughs> el que gane. Yo voy con el que gane. That's right. Very good. All right. So, Gerardo, how was your day today? Uh, it's... It was cool and raining day. <laughs> I know it's been raining hard today and it rained a lot. I mean, like for a very long time here in, at my house. There you go. Is it raining by your house, Oscar? Yeah, but uh, maybe at, at four in okay. the afternoon, four o'clock right. in, yeah. in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, maybe in the, in, at the uh how to say the whole day it was so hot yeah it was it was the very hot day. today yes like it was a, very hot like a 36 about that Celsius. maybe yeah it was super hot yeah degrees Celsius degrees and then it started to rain at four yeah four, three, four p.m it's still raining here actually not that much but still raining wow yeah i don't really like the hot weather but, but i live here yeah <laughs> you're right hi moises Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening everyone. It's here already waiting for you. Very good, Moises. How was your day today? A uh, uh, little sad because I was watching a, a match oh. today. Yes. <laughs> and you lost. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah, I know. Eh? That's really? what we were talking about with Oscar. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> incredible. No, but no. this is the, the, the football football soccer. Eh? And that's life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I understand. That's why you're sad. Very good. All right. Nice. Okay. Life goes on. Life, life goes, goes on. on. Very good. Yeah, for sure. All right. Let's see, guys. So yesterday we were talking about uh, the trainings and to like identifying the needs and everything. And I at the very like couple of minutes before we finish the class, I assigned to you some professions, all right? And I wanted you to come up with the type of trainings in general that you think these type of professionals should have 
or they need, all right? So uh, I remember, Oscar, I, I assigned the uh, teacher, right? Was it teacher? You were working with Jenny yesterday, all right? So none of you are teachers, all right? So mm -hmm. um, can you tell us, can you share with us the trainings that you think a teacher should get, Oscar? Okay, okay. Well, uh, we were thinking on a uh, teacher for Autism, autism, and, autism. Uh, autism to children to children with autism okay and we we're thinking that um, the first first one first of all mm -hmm. uh, you have to have a train on identifying the autism right and and also to see when identify the spectrum of autism and then how to handle or, or manage each one okay each one all right so in that, all, uh -huh. yeah in that case or in that sense oscar do you you and jennifer you decided that uh or you went with like an a special needs kind of training right in this oh. case it was like a specific one because it was autism well we didn't get the uh, deeper than that we didn't right. get no, deeper no, than that we just okay. uh -huh. we right. were just fo uh, focused on identifying the, the autism right. spectrum okay and the management all right the management. okay very good all uh -huh. right but you know what talking about and i mean in this case ellie is a teacher sometimes when we teach especially kids or teenagers in schools especially even more than university levels we get sometimes we get all like types of children and sometimes these children they have somewhat special needs all right maybe it's like a very light autism all right or maybe something else but i believe and i think you're very right on that on that point of view that you guys had with jenny yesterday i believe that teachers should get trained to ident to be able to identify any kind of not normal behavior on children all right because okay. we deal with children all the time i mean if you if you're a teacher and like for example ellie that she works at school all right so sometimes ellie finds a student that is doesn't pay attention doesn't understand everything that is going on like the other kids or he understands way too fast all right so all like i think is very important for teachers it should be important and we should get it we don't but we should all right, to have this special training on being able to identify different needs and different like special needs, all right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we are like teachers, we don't have that knowledge. So we just say, I understand you mucho molesta, all right? Mm -hmm. And we tag them. Y les ponemos un, un, como un, no sé, como algo ya así. What is it? Etiqueta. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, like here on the forehead, all right. But uh -huh. maybe this kid has a real problem, all right. Maybe, like mentally, maybe because of some situation that he or she's living at home. So I think teachers should get a training on I being able to identify different special needs, all right. I think it would be better for us. At the end of the day, we as teachers spend half a day with these kids every day. All right. So I think we should be prepared and we should have the knowledge to know how to deal with these kids. All right. So I that's why I like when yesterday you and Jenny came up with autism. Because yeah, sometimes you have children, que no es el autismo severo, all right but then you if you don't know if you don't know how to identify it ah, you because, might be uh -huh. thinking it's weird I have right? a, my my youngest daughter mm -hmm. is kind of a how do you say me i forgot the manipulador or manipuladora <laughs> oh my god she's like <laughs> manipulative i guess <laughs> i mean like uh like uh she always gets is she persuasive yeah yeah actually it's persuasive okay. but uh, she she uses some methods like <laughs> uh, make you make you want to cry sometimes okay. make you feel sorrow and or, or make oh. you 
It's like a chantaje. How do you say chantaje? Emotional. Uh, Emotional. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so um, uh, she, I, by first hand, first hand, I saw a kind of different behavior, behavior mm -hmm. on her. But still, I don't identify that. Actually, I have the with the doctor, the, the physician, mm -hmm. or we went to the, how do you say, pediatra? P pediatrician. Oh oh pediatrician. I'm sorry to everyone. <laughs> no, that's okay. We went to the pediatrician. pediatrician yes. We, stare, we are still evaluating, as you say, because mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's, to me, it's this really an emotional, <laughs> um, how to say, this, uh, she manipulates the things. Right. It's, it's yeah. kind of lazy. All kind right. of lazy. Okay. But how, how can we know? How can right. we know? Just that we have, they need a um, trainer eye. Right. A trainer That's right. eye, a yeah. training person, training right. person to, to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But you know what? Sometimes this is very important also, Oscar, because in your case, I guess you mm -hmm. and your wife, you have identified that on your daughter and you are aware of it but sometimes what happens is maybe the teacher is able to identify that something is so normal or so right with the kid and you talk to their parents and they don't want to accept it all right so they are in the on denial or they say no she's just normal she's like having a bad day or whatever right so i mean that i mean that because I, i'm still i have to well, I'm we're, I'm looking for a professional uh, point help? of view. Okay, professional okay. Help. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm in, in that, but uh, I somehow. Right. I think I think it's as you say. It's like a small how to say. Uh, how do you identify a, a real a case that is mm -hmm. evident? It's, it's, right. You see in front of you, the other that is uh, in other cases are more soft. Or okay. So, but um, I still think is my, my youngest daughter is kind of, is lazy and manipulated because she is, is she's ingenious see, to to tell things in okay. order to don't complete orders. I mean to, to oh. don't do what she has to do. It's kind of, oh my goodness! So, <laughs> I don't she know. gets her I way around. She's, uh, she's she's lazy, and then okay. she's happy when when make you when she gets what what she, she wants. wants. Oh, uh, yeah. she gets what she wants based on on manipulating me yes. emotionally. Right. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I think that we teachers we should get that type of training. All right. So mm -hmm. it would be very helpful. All right um hi guillermo hi diana we missed you yesterday diana oh, hi, thank you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> right. hi it's so nice to have you in class all right so for guillermo and diana that were not with us yesterday with us yesterday uh we were talking about the type of tra I, yesterday i assigned a uh, profession a different profession to different groups all right and they they had to come up with a type of trainings that they thought they these type of professions need all right so in the case of oscar and jennifer they were assigned teachers all right and i said okay so think about the, about the kind of training a teacher should need or should get all right so oscar and jenny they thought about teachers should get trained on autism all right and we that's why we were speaking on on this right now because i was actually saying and jesse is also a teacher that sometimes I believe that all teachers at any level should get a special needs training, all right? So teachers are able to identify any not normal behavior that a kid may present, all right? Because we deal with them every single day. And sometimes we spend more time with these children than their parents. And so I think it's very important for all teachers at any level to know about special needs, all right? Like Educación Especial a little bit, but that's not true. And, and uh, unless like Jesse and Ellie, we take a special courses or, or trainings, but when we study to become teachers at university, we are not taught this special needs course that we sh I think we should. 
because we deal with these kids all the time. And then Oscar was giving us an example of, of his daughter, right? That he says that she's manipulative, all right? She manipulates everyone, all right? So, but, and I, and I was saying to Oscar that in some cases, parents can help, but in other cases, parents don't help because they don't believe you or they deny the situation. So it's, it's very complex, all right? So that's what Oscar was talking to us about. Hi, Verito. Good evening. All right. Jesse, who were you working with yesterday? What? Repeat me, please. Yes, who were you working with yesterday night? Yesterday? Uh, Do you remember yes. who was your partner? Yes, I I working with Irene ah, and okay. with uh, Gerardo Daniel. Okay, very good. All right. So, do you remember uh, the profession that I assigned to you, or that you guys got? Yes, we work in the secretary profession. Oh, the secretary. Okay, very good. So, yes. can you tell us, Jesse? Um, According to you, hey, Jesse. Aquí está. <laughs> que se me movió. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, where's the Jesse go? All right. So, <laughs> eh, eh, there goes Dianita's cat. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. She's that. Is a she or a he? Is a she. All right. So, she wants to be bilingual also. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. So Jesse, which kind of training did you think about with your classmates yesterday about secretary? And we are talking that uh, secretary needs a lot of training, but principal training can be customer service and technical training, products okay. specific training, uh, orientation training, okay. and Induction and uh, onboarding training, excuse oh, me. Oh, my goodness. Onboarding, uh, onboarding yes, training. Yes, because the secretary made a big word in all the business because it's the face of That's the right. business. That's a very good point, Jesse. Yes. All right. Secretary face of the company. All right. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, customer service yes. is a must. They must yes. get this type of training. They have to be smiley and happy and yes. nice. Although and have to be efficient. Efficient, yes. And, yes, and friendly too. Also. Because the secretary don't know the people that, but have to give a friendly feel to the people. Right. And yeah. have to be, I don't know, amable. <laughs> Kind and nice, yes, yes, they have to be kind and kind. nice. Yes, because the people, the secretary, when, when the business had a good secretary and uh, education, yeah. with, with education, yeah. and the uh, business grow a lot of. Yes, of course, yeah, very good, nice, okay, very good. Okay, let's see, Verito, hi, Silvia, welcome to class. Uh, Vero, uh, who were you working with yesterday? I worked with Elizabeth. Okay. Ah, okay. Um, I don't remember what. Okay, that's okay. Okay, Vero, can you tell us uh, the profession that you were assigned? Uh, the, prof the professional were salesperson. Salesperson, all right. Okay, so what kind of, what type of training should a sales, um, salesperson get? We told yesterday uh, the a cell person needs to have a, a skill and customer service mm -hmm. and a skill a quantum. Uh, first of all, uh, needs to have uh, needs to have a skill in marketing professional. Okay. Um, good looks. Okay. Uh, uh, convincing power or how do you oh like persuasive yes they like need to be persuasive okay yeah okay it needs to have ability in negotiation mm -hmm. and okay. re relationship friendly 
uh, 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 um, nowadays he, he ha, the person needs to have no knowledge in social networking management. Okay. Management. Okay, very good. Yeah. Interesting. All right, very nice. Okay. Um, let me see. Eli, who were you working with yesterday, Eli? Eli. Mm. No, I guess Eli, she's not around. Irene, did I ask you already? Irene, who were you working with I yesterday? Work with Yesenia. Ah, okay, okay. So we already yeah. I work I work with Veronica, teacher. Nancy Elizabeth Veronica. Ah, okay, very good. All right, yes, okay. So, so we already... don't, don't say any. Okay, that's okay. All right, very good. What about Sylvia? Sylvia, who were you working with yesterday? Hi, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I work with Norma. Ah, okay, all right. Do you remember, ah, you were talking about nurse, yes? Yes. Uh, all right, so what kind of training does a nurse need to have? Uh, well, uh, we talk about the nurse needs uh, training about technical process, mm -hmm. uh, put uh, injections, injections, okay. mm -hmm. uh, manual respirators, okay. uh, using the blood pressure kit, uh, thermometers, uh, using for different person personnel, yes, uh, using the uh, catheters, okay. Uh, Basic human body functions, mm -hmm. psychology training to understand the mm -hmm. others. All right. Diabetic, solid, leaking, for example. All right. Uh, use tools for first aid. Okay, first aid training, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Okay. Uh, basic, basic trainings for common illness. Okay. Uh, Hygienic. Janet measures, mm -hmm. uh, biosecurity okay. protocols. All right, especially now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, ethic rules. Okay. Uh, prescription to understand the administration for patients. Okay. E safety training. All right, very good. Okay. Yeah, safety training. Very good. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, in other words, all the. Uh, any any kind of training or any type of training that is related to like handling medical instruments, like tools that they need all the time, right? Very good. And I, I guess, and that's a good point that um, Sylvia and uh, Norma discussed yesterday because remember that nurses, they deal with sick people, all right? So they need to have empathy and they, be, they need to be sympathetic with the patients because they are not in a normal condition all right so kind of like being able to deal with humans is only the the least necessary that they need to have all right because they deal with them all the time all right so that's very important very good uh moises sure, sure. yes yes oscar uh, to sylvia sylvia was saying that, that the nurses has to understand the others mm -hmm. the, so uh, I understood that the, they have to be trained on being sympathetic or, or in, empathic. Right. And empathic. Right. But, but em, well, empathic is like a, to place in the, in the other shoes and the shoes of the other person. Right. Empathic, but sim, sympathetic can you explain also, this or, sim or Sylvie? Sympathetic is when you, for example, someone comes to you and says, okay, uh, I have this issue and you are there to listen, all right? Because what happens sometimes and then they, you feel comfortable that, or you feel nice that someone listened to you and at least pretended that they cared about your problem. But remember, Oscar, that in this case, in the case of nurses, they are dealing with people that are not emotionally stable and they need to feel that someone cares all right even if you don't care <laughs> all right so they need okay. to feel like or at least they need to feel that someone the nurse that is close to you 
is listening to you. If you tell them, listen, I'm in pain. All right. Mm -hmm. You want them to believe it and they want, and you want them to say, okay, you're going to be okay. And I'm going to give you the medicine. But what right. happens is that sometimes you say, I'm in pain and they just look at you like say, yeah, whatever. All right. And they don't care. Is All that, right? uh, I believe you, 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 taking the example of the Seguro Social. Of course I am. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so, and I think it's everywhere. I mean, sometimes, I don't know, Oscar, it's, it's, you know what? It's not, I think it, not, it doesn't only happen on the public sector, but also on the private one. And that is even worse because you're paying a lot of money to be treated nicely. You know, yeah. I mean, on the other hand, I mean, on the too because you get discounted every month from your paycheck but mm -hmm. on the private one i mean the least that you expect is to be treated nicely from the nurse from the doctor or from everybody that is taking care of you i mean you're there because you're not okay all right so if you tell someone listen i feel in pain you want them to say, okay, you're going to be okay. And that's being sympathetic and that's being empathic with you. All right. Because you feel that they are listening to you and they care for you, you know? Okay. All right. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Nice. All right. Moises, uh, were you, were you in class yesterday? Yeah. Moises was in class yesterday, yes. right? Okay. Yes. Uh, did you, did, where, who were you talking to yesterday or what profession were you talking about? Uh, I was in the same group with Irene right. and ah, Yesenia. Okay. okay. Yes. Right. We are talking okay. about the secretary. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, guys. So, uh, Diana, any questions? And Guillermo, any questions about what you have been listening to? Or you are okay with it? We are missing some of the other classmates because some, I, I think William's group. Ah, Jose Luis was with William, right? Yes, teacher. I work with William, William and Henry. All right. Yeah, William and Henry. Williams and Henry. Uh, can you tell your class before Diana and Guillermo if they have any questions? Uh, Jose Luis, can you tell your classmates what was your profession that you had to talk about, the type of trainings they need? Yes, uh, we, we talk about the, the president. Uh, I think they are the president. Uh, we talk about the president, they need to be training in how to communicate with okay. other people and sure. leadership. Okay. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the, the president, they think that they know all and don't, mm -hmm. and don't say the, the opinion that other, that other person. And it, it's really important too that training in, in language because okay. they they have to, to talk with business with another president okay all right okay very good all right guys what 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 about the rest of you if we talk about president all right it's a profession all right i guess you become a president <laughs> is an occupation is a is a profession all right what kind of training should a president get guys what do you think? And Diana's like thinking, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's interesting. I think. Yeah. That, I think that it's important to to be trained in soft skills. Ah. Soft skills because um, the president has to to be able of being in the shoes of the of other people, right. not only. Uh, not only in the shoes of the people that are like him in possibilities in, in maybe in, in economic no. possibilities right. but also in in other kinds in other situations okay that they are not the same as as him or her all right okay very mm -hmm. good okay so soft skills all right and remember the soft skills involves lots of type of trainings all right very good uh anybody else like you want to be more if you want to be more successful on a, a particular training that you think a president should get 
I think uh, and the, the president have a, a leadership mm -hmm. um, because uh, very much people mm -hmm. uh, in the, to uh, communication. Okay. I think. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Anybody else? Jenny, what do you think? What type of training should a president get? Uh, the president get training about the laws, mm -hmm. yeah. politics, yeah. laws, international <laughs> politics. Yes. 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 Because he doesn't. He he should he should know about the everything. Uh, area to to uh, um area in the the government okay. inside the government all right okay. uh, for example about the highness mm -hmm. yes no about the health about health okay uh, health yes help uh, the police the mm -hmm. army or okay. uh, everything in in the in, inside the government because okay. uh, he should be uh, take it uh, many decisions a lot of decisions about the, the some uh, the whatever things okay. uh, for example in that moment the president take it uh, um, decisions about the pandemic. Okay. And uh, he 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 should be training about the 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 uh, in that moment I don't remember the 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 skills. Mm -hmm. Many times, tools or labs or whatever things to to implement okay. inside the, the inside the whatever problem in okay. the in the in the government. Okay. All right. Very good. And, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, Oscar. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Good evening. Hi, Oscar. Good evening, <laughs> Good evening hey. to all. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stop thinking on the last uh, president we have. The former president. The uh, former. Uh huh. Uh huh. The former. I mean the 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 one before the, the now is the on, one on that the we. Seat. Uh huh. Uh, the, uh, a president needs uh, uh needs to be trained on on a speech. Okay. Yeah. Um, how to how to give a how speech to... or how to write a speech? Uh -huh. Right. Because we went you ended up in, in things like a respeto respetuoso and, and all that stuff. <laughs> all right. Yeah, okay. Really all right. Serious. Okay. Very good. Interesting. All right. Anything else, guys? Any anybody else? What you guys think about the type of training um, a president should get? Jesse, what do you think? Or Diana or anybody, Vero, Jose Luis, Gerardo, uh huh? I think about the president, the president had to obtain a complete training safety overall because uh, he or she had to know about all the topics and um, can be a good training the president had to know because it's a big topic inside the country okay. and one word can be the difference in some speech that the president gives for the for the tongue or for the population i don't know for the people for his for people, the people. Yeah. yes and this is the reason the president has to know a lot of things okay. and all that thing has to give um, Truth, truth or confidences 
for the all the peoples because depending the word the president says, the people feeling about the president. Okay. It's so important the knowledge that people have for give that meeting for the people. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Interesting. Hi, Normita. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to have you in class, Norma. How are you? Very tired. Yes, you're tired. Is it raining in Santa Ana? A lot of people. Really? Yes, I I am starting in the in the in the street. Uh -huh. I I travel with my work to my house. Oh my goodness! A lot of uh, rain. All right, very good. What about in San Miguel? Is it raining in San Miguel, Vero? No, only it looks like uh, it's going rain. It's going rain, but it's going to rain. Yes. Yes, but but it's not, not raining yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's been raining in San Salvador actually. All right. Yeah. All, all day. Very all, all afternoon. Very good. All right, guys. So uh, it's interesting as as we have been saying before. It's interesting to see the uh, the needs and the type of trainings every profession uh, can get or should get. All right. So. In the case of managers and owners of companies or supervisors, if it's in your hands to provide your employees with a training that you think is gonna be helpful for them, then go ahead and do so, all right? In the case of Diana, that she was telling us that she has not so many employees, which is good in a way because she can control everything better than having like a thousand people working for her, right? So uh, yesterday, uh, Diana, we were saying that communication, asking the employees what kind of training they need or they think they need, it's something very positive, all right? Because you may think, okay, this is what they need and this is what they want, but maybe not so, all right? So it's, very, it's a very good idea to have like this communication flowing with you and your employees and your employees with you. Also, if you're a manager, a supervisor, or any, like if you have that kind of like um, possibility to offer a training. Now, today's uh, session, we're going to be talking about this, and I'm going to show it to you right now. We are talking about how to measure uh, the effects on training programs. We have discussed this before, I believe, but right now I'm going to tell you, well, I'm going to walk you through some questions. Uh, we're going to read something and we're going to watch another video, all right? So uh, the first step is I want you to talk about it with your friends, uh, how to measure the effects on training. I'm not asking you uh, like the type of measurement right now. I'm asking you how to measure it. I'm asking you if it, it's it valid, is it important, all right? And then we're going to walk you through the type of measures measurements that we may have here I'm gonna show you this right here and these are the questions I want us to work on in a couple of minutes it says number one why measure training why measure training effectiveness why do we have to do that all right number two how do you measure the impact of a training program okay number three how do you evaluate training sessions they might you may think they are the same questions, but they are not, all right? Just kind of like really study them and like listen to them and read them and you'll find out that the questions are different. Then you have, how do you measure performance and how do you measure the effectiveness of a program, all right? So these are the questions that I want us to talk about. We're gonna talk here in the group because in like about five minutes or so, I'm, I need to take attendance. And after the attendance, I'm gonna send you to your groups. So right now, as a group, as a big group, I want, I want us to talk about why measure training effectiveness? Why do you think is that, that, if that's important, why do we have to do that? Is it important? It might be important for you or for some others, it may not be important, but whatever your point of view is, I want you to explain it and to tell us, all right? So I'm just like reading it again why measure training, uh, it's here, 
why measure training effectiveness all right so that's the question i want you to think about right now all right why measure why measure training effectiveness all right so I don't know who wants to start with this do you think do you think it's important to measure training effectiveness guys andrea hello andrea nice to have you in class hello Thank hi you. all right so why measure training effectiveness any ideas okay you got the training all right you gave the i mean you had the training analysis you had the training you thought about the five a's uh, i mean the five only the five a's and uh, the five <laughs> w's that's another topic the five w's the what the where the how the and the who and everything all right so you got the training your employees or you received the training all right now i'm asking why measure training effectiveness ideas i think that the the principal reason is because you uh, in that way you know if training worth uh, the resources that you invest in this in this training okay because if you invest uh, every kind of resources like mm -hmm. people like time like uh, like food uh, i don't know economic resource, resources resources mm -hmm. even if you have to pay for it right so uh, the main reason is that you you take a decision okay for the future trainings okay all right mm -hmm. okay okay anybody else yes teacher i am agree with diana because okay, for the agree? companies uh, we need to stay or have the the measurement mm -hmm. uh, with the with the um, give a, a support the investment in that training is the benefit for the people and for the company okay and also uh, when the company investment uh, money in the technical um, training we need to stay or define one measure to assure that technical training was applied in the company mm. and also measure the result okay because with that uh, improvement in the process the managers uh, provide the gain for the top manager okay and then we can receive more support for a future in training mm -hmm. for the people okay all right very good anybody else why measure Crazy. training effectiveness? yes <laughs> yes Guillermo. teacher i think uh because we can see the progress of the people and organization and we we can see the, the better technical performance okay all right very good yes all right nice thank you irene 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 for me teacher uh, one, one band, someone advantage about the training in measurements, measurements, uh, maybe the employees uh, are uh, empowered for maybe. Empowered, empowered yeah, 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 they're empowered. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, interesting. Empowered. empowered. All right. Very and good. in other thing for me is a uh, decrease, decrease the um, uh, employee loyalty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. increase the employer loyalty mm. yeah all right for me okay. the, the increase the employer loyalty mm -hmm. and the employees uh, uh, maybe feeling better identified with the enterprise maybe. okay of course all right so that would be like the uh, the end result of it right okay very good okay anybody else why measure training effectiveness i think yes you heard me yes 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 uh, I think in the training is effectiveness when the people uh, enliven mm -hmm. 
with the trainings. And that that reason helped the people to develop in better ways the job. Okay. And you show with the people are what were at care can be new knowledge in the develop of the job because okay. the people make the job with more efficiency mm -hmm. and the people thinking go to beyond that the uh, manager um, with the manager demand okay for her or him no? okay all right and I think in that this is the reason the manager can uh, can not when the people are good in the business they are um, draw on all the training okay all right very good all right one more one one more uh, opinion about why measurement training effectiveness is important Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, Silvita, yes. Uh, I think uh, in the production, mm -hmm. uh, many companies go up the, for the training, for receive the training, the people. Uh, is a, a measure, I think. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, very nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to take attendance right now. Then I'll show you again the PPT. Um, I want you to answer those questions that I had on the PPT with uh, for you. I'm going to give you some time on that. Then we're coming back and I'm going to share with you um, a, a, a model, all right, of a measurement of trainings, okay? So I'm going to take attendance right now and then I'm gonna, we're going to start with the activities, okay, for this. Let's see, uh, just remember to say present when I call your name. It's Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. All right, okay. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández eh, Morales. Present. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Hey, what happened to Williams today? Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Present teacher. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Norma Aras. No, no, no. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Present. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. Anubia Araceli Cortez Amacha. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Okay, so as I said, this is the activity that the first one that we're going to be working on. I want you to. Uh, if you don't want to, I mean, you don't have to answer the first one because we already talked about it, but if you feel that you didn't say anything or that you had another idea, if you have another idea, you may do so, all right? But I want you to think about this. How, to, uh, how do you measure the impact of training program? How? How do you know it was effective, all right? How do you evaluate training sessions? Now, this one is the training session itself, all right? How, how do you evaluate it? How do you measure the training performance, all right? And how do you measure the effectiveness of a program? 
So as I said, they do relate, but they're not the same, all right? Did you take a picture of the questions, guys? Or can you take a picture now? So I can send you to your groups and you may discuss about these, uh, these questions, please. You have it? Yes, huh? excellent, okay, very good. Yes. All right, so I'm sending you right now to your groups. Agreed. Yeah, I know. That's what I heard. I'm like, oh, no. And I put in because uh, the company need to assure the investment in the training are are uh, effective. Uh huh. Is my one idea, and you? Uh, I think uh, to know. Uh, for to know how how the 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 guests in my case because I work in a hotel the guests uh, how to know the guests uh, think about the about the service. Okay. Yes, had a mistake. Okay. And another one in other is a take a um if you want you can, can you can, can be you can add about service and quality. Okay. The another one uh, take a feedback about the trainees. Uh, the trainees on the trainer training receive. They are they receive. Uh huh. This is another one. If you like, uh, 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 um, Jennifer and Oscar, you're together again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, is that your match or, or no, just no, random? It's a random. It's a random. The computer does it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. It's a lottery. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, when the people uh, take advantage of the, 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 the program, they, um, they um, I don't know how to say it, um, ponen, es, ponen esfuerzo y force. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Efforts uh, take advantage about the, 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 the training. 
they they in, increase increase in in and for example in the production the sewing method mm -hmm. they they take the advantage and um wind and win uh, a lot of money okay and for money. example a lot of money and the production is on time Sometimes. The production is on time, yes. And the export and, and the export uh, is on time too. And when both mm -hmm. yes, the impact uh, in the impact is the, the better better the situations to both to to um to to co-workers and mm. inside co-workers and um, and fabric too, but yes, a good reason. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you think well, about the? How do you? Evaluate training sessions. Well, in my company. How uh, do you do evaluate training sessions? Uh -huh, in my company. Yeah. Uh, they, they go to, okay, I, I understand a training session is, uh, for example, if you take uh, five days per week, there, those are five sessions per week. And then there's a there's a person from human resources who go to the place uh, where, where the training is taking place, and then just to to watch, like uh, just to see what is happening, and pass uh, a, a checklist or or yeah. taking taking list of if everyone is there. Yeah. Uh -huh. they attendance and how that person goes uh, on a random day any any given day they they, they attend a, a, to a session or to a training session they go to a training session and take attendance and also sit down there and then watch how the training session is is going on yeah, uh, yeah. it's like the like a watchdog or something like that Yes, uh, the evaluation. Maybe one or two bad clients. Yes. Or, or bad customers. In, in, in nowadays, the business executive, they don't come when, when the customer mm -hmm. and, oh. and make a, a, bad, a bad shot. No puede haber pesado a cobrarle al cliente. <laughs> they have to be kind. Yes. Okay. And That's great. With a, with a bad customer, it's really difficult. Really difficult. I yes. can imagine. And for that reason, the company sometimes send at the ex at the business executive mm -hmm. uh, training in a customer service. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess they need to know how to manage the bad customers. <laughs> yes. 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 It, is, very it, is, it, is, it is difficult for us too because we have yeah. we have some bad customers. Oh really? And we Anna? give them yes, we, we give we give them the funeral service and they don't and they are like, Yes, we are going to pay you at the burial. Okay. Yes. And, and they don't? The, and they don't. Wow. And we are like, and we are like, ah, pay me. Oh my <laughs> and goodness! Sometimes, and, and like my father said that if uh, if the coffin is buried, no one is, no one is one, no one is wanting to pay for them, mm -hmm. for it because it's buried. Yeah, it's <laughs> already people, there. Uh, it's already there, and we cannot do anything. Wow. If it's yeah. a bad, if it is a bad client, we cannot 
to do anything. Right. Really and, uh, and don't you like ask for half of the payment before at least? Yes, yes. We have a lot of uh, processes. Okay. And to ensure, to ensure, mm -hmm. to ensure the payment. Right. But, yeah. But sometimes they are they are lost. Like yes, we are going we are going to give you the thirty percent right now, and after that we are going to pay you. That's seventy left. Oh my goodness. Yes, and and they are like yes, uh, I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you. And, and then and they, they don't. don't. <gasps> wow, Diana. That's, I mean, dealing with money is very complicated, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. But I think that that the people that doesn't that they don't have the the um, the habit uh, of, of pay the right. things they don't have they they never have this uh, this habit. Okay. And they will never they they will never have it. Right. No, I know. Right. Very good. Now, Diana, where where is you have your uh, business here in San Salvador? Yes, I have my business in, in Soyapango. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. Very busy right now there, huh? <laughs> mm, and so, so, mm. in fact, we, we are mm, like a week that we are not giving any All service. Really? All right. Yes, I, I think that's, like, that's good because we are, we were working a lot, like, a, like two months. Yeah. We are that we were working like every every day wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I, I think that is a good sign for people that's true yeah that's true mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you're right how long have you had this business for uh, I, uh, for 14 years wow diana really <laughs> yes it's you look very young oh i, I know, know. Thank you. <laughs> i'm 34 <You> are <laughs> young you. you were 20 when you began Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. It was 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a good idea to be the 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 owner to have your own business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's difficult because you have a lot of responsibility. Yes. Of course. Yes. It is, and you have to be like really smart because mm -hmm. you have to, for example, you have to pay your own. I don't know how to say it, teacher, your own IFP? Yeah, your own uh, security, uh, your own retirement plan. Your own retirement plan. Right. And, and security, social security and stuff like that. Because no one is going to pay for you. You have to pay uh, for yourself to assure your future. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> right. So it's been a family business, Diana. Yes, it, it is. Uh, my partner is my father. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> very <laughs> nice. All right. Very good. Okay. So we're going to go back right now uh, because I, wanna, um, I want us to read and I want us to watch the video and then discuss about it. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Teacher. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. you. Thank you. All right, guys, let's let's talk about it really quick. Uh, how do you measure the impact of training program? All right. Can some, someone tell me the, an idea of how you can measure the impact of the training of a training program? Anybody? Uh, we are talking with, with Yesenia mm -hmm. that the, the 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 form to know if 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 the if a training had it or not impact mm -hmm. if if the work is is doing is done in the best way or okay. on the way that it has how to be it has to be okay and and, and to uh, another way is when um a survey Mm -hmm. All right. To, okay. To know the the opinion of the person that that took the 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 training. The, 
training. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now, would that would that also be related, Andrea, with the the third question? Like, how do you evaluate training sessions? The survey that you were mentioning, or that would be different. Uh, the same. I think that it could be used useful to to evaluate trainings too. But okay. but when I when I hear evaluate training, I think more like an a test a test oh, in our survey. Oh. Oh, all right, okay, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, that's nice, uh -huh. interesting, all right. Thank you, Andre. Uh, anybody else with how to measure the impact of a training program? How do you know it was effective or not? How do you know the impact was good or not, guys? Teacher, uh, we working with Moises. Mm -hmm. And we speak about the, the different uh, form and depending the type of training and the role the role of, for the company. Okay. And as a sample, uh, take a measure before the training, try to try for measure to impact after training. Okay. Uh, for example, in my case, the company one sample. The company tried to improve the quality process and okay. provide a new training after that assign one project with trainees okay. in a specific quality issues. All right. And provide a new training and after that, when the trainees apply that that process, the project in the quality issue, uh, gives normally two months to implement that okay. uh, that work and after that uh, take another measure okay. and compare the after and before mm. and have one measure and, and with a specific data they mm. can provide if that training was effective or no this is in the case for the productivity okay in, in the case for moises he explained me uh, he working in a hotel. Yes. And and, and she's uh, he said uh, the whole hotel had a put uh, a, a web page and then them put mm -hmm. a survey mm -hmm. for a, a custom. Okay. And the okay. custom mesh uh, the customer provide the compliance for okay. example. Okay. And then the hotel define give a training. And after that, uh, the hotel put another survey, and the people give another response. Okay. And compare that information between right. after and, and before. And before. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. What about the second, the third question, guys? Anybody else? How do you evaluate training sessions? I'm not really talking about the training program. I'm take. I'm talking about the specific training session. How do you evaluate it? Andrea was saying she's like thinking more like a test more than a survey. All right, any other ideas? How would you evaluate training sessions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for example, when, when the trainer listened to uh, many kinds of opinions okay. about the topic, mm -hmm. yes, uh, or the training. Okay. Uh, and uh, in this moment, uh, the trainer evaluates the co-workers. Okay. It's a, sh it's a short quest. Okay. All right. Very good. Someone else is going to say something about how you evaluate training session, the particular training session, not the whole training program. You can perform like an, an evalu evaluation mm -hmm. if you are training the people for a specific process, for right. example, right. You, can, you can do a, an evaluation after the training mm -hmm. to evaluate right. if, the, if the training is working. Okay, works. all right, nice, okay, very good. All right, how do you measure the training? Uh -huh. Yes, tell me. No, the training session, I was telling Jennifer that in my company, uh, mm -hmm. someone from human resources attend uh, any random mm -hmm. day uh, a training session. Okay. 
and they get in and they take a, I forgot the pasar lista is, um, take attendance. Uh, uh -huh, this person it's like take I do. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. take attendance and, and also, and also check uh, how the, the class is, is, is performing. Mm -hmm. And how to say like, like an spy? I believe it's like an spy. They go, oh, all right. <laughs> they go any day, and they ah. sometimes, you know, sometimes um, uh, there was a a bad, a bad habit, should I say, that some co-workers uh, were missing the one day from one day oh. or five. Okay. One day or five. All right. And and yeah, when the spies, when the spies, uh, when the spy went in the, uh -huh. the classroom, okay, my coworker wasn't there, and then they discovered that we were turning, turning, like a, like a, how to say, taking turns to. <laughs> oh my goodness, Oscar. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. So, so that wasn't really good. So now. Yeah, that uh, that's how the my company evaluated the training mm -hmm. session. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Nice. You can also do. Um. We can have surveys, and you can also have like uh like a short test, like an a short evaluation of the skill or the something. Like in if it was a specific on something, you can also evaluate or have like a small test for the uh, uh people that receive the training. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, you can have like. I have a poll, you know, saying like, how was it? Did you like it? It's similar to, to a survey, all right? Very good. How do you measure training? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So you, you were saying that you pass a poll? Yep. Like a, like a survey, but can you, yeah. could you explain uh, what's the difference between a poll? Because for me, poll is like voting. Yeah. Uh, poll in May and survey. I'm sorry to you. No, 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 that's okay. The survey is it could be longer, all right, and more like a, like more open questions than that um, than the poll, all right? Because the other one is uh -huh. more like closed questions. Actually, there's like yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I'm sorry, right. teacher, can you repeat that word? I got it. A poll. P O L L. P O L L. Okay, thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. poll. All right, yeah, you take a poll. All right, yeah, very good. All right. It's narrow. It's a narrow question. Yeah, I mean, it, yes, or maybe yes or no, white yeah. and black mm -hmm. or something. That's right. Yeah, it's not an open, uh, open question. A survey can be an open question. All right. Sometimes you say, okay, so what do you think about it? Or like a survey also can have a uh, close questions like yes or no, but it's usually it's longer than a poll. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So how do you measure training performance? All right. So the training is over. And then, so how do you measure that the employee got it right or not, or that they are implementing the training? How do you measure it? I think there's one word that is very specific that you say, okay, if they are doing this, if they became this, then I can say that they got the training and the training was effective and the impact was okay. And you guys have mentioned the word. Yes? We keep key performance indicators right kpa kpi right. because uh, it's indicate that what is required for the for the employee and if it's if it's doing well or no okay All and right. like a like a minimum uh, development Development of minimum, uh, how do you say, uh, performance, right. performance, okay. uh huh. And in, in the, if the person that, uh, doesn't get the minimum performance, if okay. and then it's it's uh, bad. Right. Okay. That's great. Okay. Very good. Also, you can see if the person is being effective, effectiveness. All right, on the on their job, if they're being like really effective and efficient. Also, then you can measure the training performance because you say, okay, so I send Andrea to this training and now she is like way much more efficient than before because she got the training. All right. So sometimes you can measure the training by the performance of the employee. 
all right? If, you, if they were sent to that training and then if they came back and they improved the process or if they became more efficient or more productive, then you can actually measure it, all right? Uh, then the last one is pretty much what we've been talking about. How do you measure the effectiveness of a program? All right, anybody? Jesse, do you want to talk about the last question? Okay. Jesse? Yeah. I don't talk with Andrea because don't oh, don't have, have time. But all right, okay. Uh, I I give you that I think. Yes. And all program all program are effective depending that the that the people. Achievement, achievement, comportment, behavior, behavior. Okay. Yes. Okay. Depending the behavior for the people, because you you noticed in some people who take advantage of the training, mm -hmm. then practice the training. Okay. And when the people don't uh, don't run on the, the training, the people don't practice the training. Right. In some cases, the, the people assist to the training only for obey to the management, but okay. not for improve the, no, the knowledge or knowledge. not for practice the knowledge. Okay. And some people uh, had a good uh, developed uh, hair jobs and love all kinds of trainings. Right. Okay. And that people you can notice that mm. effectiveness that is training okay yes effectiveness okay so the problem inside the world all right okay i think in that good. thank you jesse all right we're gonna go on with this guys uh i'm just gonna make it larger so we can see it here uh let's see who wants to read this for me when you plan a training when you plan training can someone read it um Thank you. I, yes, Jenny. When you plan training and development for your organization, you expect to gain improved skills and productivity, greater re retention rates, and an improved brand after you deliver any type of corporate training you. Must. You must ask this question. Must must ask this question thank you jennifer How? stop right there stop right there jenny just for a second all right so these guys thank you when you talk about like i maybe your your business or your organization or your company can be big or not all right but if you send your employees to a training or any kind of development and then you are you as the manager, you as the owner, you as the supervisor, you are you as the boss, or you as the employee, you expect it. If once you go to the training or once you send the people to go to the training, you expect it to improve the skills and to improve your productivity, then you need to have some kind of evaluation, some kind of like, okay, so what do I do with this now? All right. Now a you also send your employees or you go because you want to get greater retention rates that means that your employees are not going to go away from your company they are going to stay with your company all right and improve your brand of course all right you send them to get trained because you want better employees if you have better employees you have better company all right so it's it's a chain here all right after you deliver any type of corporate training or after you send them to the any training you have to ask these three questions okay uh can someone else read those three questions for me please thank you norma uh, teacher uh, uh -huh. uh, before to read yes uh, you can put in other color the the letter for the the purple one for uh -huh. because I don't I don't show uh, you know what I'm gonna do this Normita because I think I'm gonna make it bigger whoops that's too big <laughs> all right Norma can you see yes. it better now yes excellent no you're welcome all right okay. so this is like what we were talking about and now Norma do you mind reading this can, can you see okay Norma 
Yes. Teacher. Okay, very good. Go ahead and read now. Okay. How effective effective was the training in helping learners gain Learner? relevant knowledge? Learners gain relevant knowledge and skills. Mm -hmm. Were the learners able to apply what they learned to improve their performance at work? Okay. What other benefits did the training program achieve? All right. Stop right there, Normita. Okay. So here, these are the three questions according to like uh, research and according to what I found on the net. These are the three questions that right after you send your employees and they come back, these are the three questions that you should ask yourself and the company or the human resource department, okay? How effective was the training in helping learners gain relevant knowledge and skills? Relevant, because they, you want them to have relevant skills related to what they do, all right? That's why you, you had an, a previous analysis before, all right? Because you wanted them to get what they need for the company and for themselves. The second question is, were the learners able to apply what they learned to improve their performance at work? Fine, you send them a month later, two months later, or sometime later, then you can see, ah, okay, so they have improved at their performance at work due to the training they, they were sent to, okay? And the, uh, the last question, it says, what other benefits did the training program achieve? Because I guess it would be very good if, okay, you send your employees or you were sent and you knew that you were gonna get this type of knowledge, okay, or these skills. But once you were on the training, you feel that you learn much more than what you thought you were gonna learn, okay? So what other benefits? Sometimes we go because we wanna improve our customer service but we also improved some other skills. I would say, oh, okay, cool, because I got more benefits from this training program, okay? So those three questions are very, very important. I continue, Norma, just the last thing, please. Okay, uh, the answer to this question helps help help to, determine, to, determine? Uh, to determine whether uh, whether the training was worth your organization investment in answering this question required measuring the outcomes the outcomes very good outcome is a result this is what diana was saying okay. all right if you send your people to get trained you spend money all right even yeah. if the training is free you're spending money because you are sending your employees probably during working hours and that yeah. has a cost all right because they are not on the site work had to do something to cover those spaces or those um positions that were not taken care of while they were receiving the training so sometimes in, i like the company doesn't spend money because the training is for free but sending you to that a uh, training costs money to the company in one way or another all right for you being here in class costs money for your company all right you as like an individual you feel that you're not paying anything because you're not taking your money out of your pocket but someone has invested on you all right that is why it's like in this case it's mandatory for you to be here because there's an investment going on, all right? Maybe you don't see it, all right? Or maybe you don't know how much it is at the end of the day, but there is an investment, okay? So that's why you have to be sent to a trainings that are, that are gonna be relevant, that are gonna be beneficial, not only to you, but to the company, all right? So that's like, those are the key elements now. I wanna show you this here. I don't know if you have any questions or any comments about what we were just reading, guys. No? Not at all. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, this is what I wanna do right now. I wanna show you, hold on, I just, just give me a second. I just wanna get it ready for you.
give me a second guys i'm trying to open it right now okay okay so this is what i wanna i want us to read over all right so this is here and this is of course from the net so it's also available for you here how to measure the effectiveness of corporate training okay so here we go and we say can you guys see this yes yeah yes teacher. so here it says why measure and this was the first question i had for you why measure training effectiveness oscar uh can you can you read this please Oscar, Oscar, or someone else that wants ah, statistics. statistics, statistics, statistics prove that companies across the globe invest heavily in employee training. Hold on. And okay, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> Retraining and development, according to Training Industry Magazine. Employee training and education spends in the United States alone uh, are growing incrementally by 14% per year, every year. Mm -hmm. In addition to the enhancing knowledge and, and skills, skills, measuring training effectiveness has mm -hmm. proven to be a, in, an important tool to boost the employee engagement and retention results and measurements of past training also act as uh, critical indicators while planning future workshops and this is uh, i don't know who mentioned this before that it helps you to plan the future workshops that you're going to have i think it was diana saying it all right continue oscar Organizations should ensure that employees can demonstrate a positive impact of training through improve the productivity and overall skill development. With the growing focus on continual learning and development, business are keen on identifying reliable metrics and methods to measure the effectiveness and the ROI mm -hmm. of such employee training initiatives. After all, you will not want to deliver training that does not provide expected results. All right, I wanna thank you. I wanna read this one, guys. There are many models out there about how to evaluate your trainings, all right? But there is one that is very, very famous that is called the, Kirk, the Kirkpatrick Evaluation Model, all right? It's under, like, it's named after the, the founder or the, I don't know, his model, all right? Uh, who wants to read this? Someone else? Thank you, Oscar. Who wants to read this, guys? Me, teacher. Okay. okay. During the 1950s, the University of Wisconsin professor Donald Kirkpatrick developed the Kirkpatrick evaluation model for evaluation training with a, sim a simple four-level approach. This is one of the most successful models that help you measure the effectiveness, the effectiveness, 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 yes. effectiveness of customized corporate training programs. Mm -hmm. Here are the four levels of measurement and the key indicators to look for at each level all right so the kirkpatrick is a type of evaluation model there are many more all right but also the book that we use for instaforp the one that we have they are based on the they base this on this model all right the kirkpatrick one and there are four levels all right continue adiana please read in level number one level one reaction mm -hmm. this level measures how learners are, have reacted to the training, the, rele the relevance and usefulness of the training. Okay. Service, questionnaires, or talk to learners before and after the course to collect their feedback on the learning experience. Topics to cover during your discussion. Okay. Was the course content, content relevant and easy to follow? Ask questions about the learnings and key takeaways. 
discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the program, understand if the training was able to accommodate the learner's pace and learning style. At the end of level one, you should have a good understanding of how well the training was received and determine, determine, and determine, determine, determine any gaps in the training content. In the training content, all right, very good. So the first level is reaction, all right? So what does this uh, level measure, guys? Can you tell me in your own words what, what does it measure? What does it measure? Measure? Yeah, what may I? Yes, yes, you may. Learning. Measure, measure is knowledge. like a comp. Yes. Measure so, is a, a key indicator about that result. Or... Right. Right. Okay. So level number one is called reaction. What does this level measure? It's right on the first sentence, guys. Here's what. You, if you attend that course, uh, uh -huh. your, your training um, is what you think about it what yeah. you what did you feel right how do you uh, react what, uh, it uh, how how do you how did you like it right right so did you like uh -huh, that's how right was it? Uh -huh. yeah how was the it impression. in other words yeah that's right yeah the impression the reaction the feelings that you got from it okay uh -huh. so according the uh, according to the Kirkpatrick model the first level is reaction all right so what does it measure it measures the learners how did they how do they react to the training or how did they react to the training all right within this you have to like you have to cover these topics on a discussion if you are like in charge of this you should ask questions like was the course content relevant and easy to follow all right according to the the answers that you get you're gonna get the reaction of the people that went to the training and how they felt okay so if, for example, you say, so how was the course content? And they say, no, Norma, I mean, no manager, no, gerente, mire, eso no lo entendí. All right, or I didn't like it, or I didn't get it, all right? And everybody feels the same way. Then the reaction of the training is like, okay, so maybe it wasn't how you were expecting it to be, all right? Then we go on to level two. Who wants to read level two? Whoops. Level. I. Ah, I can't. My goodness. May I teach you? Uh, yes. Level two learning. Who's going to read it? I need someone to read it for me. Can I? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Me, teacher. Okay. Measure the knowledge and skill gained the learning as a result of the training. <laughs> To measure this level, you can use a combination of metrics such as test score during and after the training, evaluation of a play learning projects, influence and performance KPIs, course completion and certifications, supervision report and feedback. At this stage of evaluation, you will be able to determine if the training is meeting its test objectives, what are the specific skills that can be developed with this training, and the scope for improvements in context and method of delivery. Of delivery, all right. So delivery. Level, yes, thank you. So according to the uh, Kirkpatrick model, the level two is learning. What do you measure on this level, guys? The knowledge and the skills gained. Th that's by right. Learners. The knowledge and the skills gained by learners. All right. So that's what you get on that. Guys, I just need to stop for a little bit because I need to take the attendance and then we may go on just reading it. Uh, let me see. All right, so I'm just gonna take the attendance for the people that were missing. Maybe they were be, they were able to get in later. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. All right. Eric Mauricio Perez Hernandez. 
Henry Vladimir del Citepas, no, he never got in. Okay. Eh, Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta, no. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero, no. Nope. Ah, Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. So we're still the same people that uh, were at the very beginning. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Who wants to read behavior, guys? Who wants to read behavior? Me, teacher. Okay. Let me just get it down for you. Yeah. Behavior. Understand how the training has impact the learner's performance and attitude at work. Evaluate how the training has influenced the, the learner's performance and delivery at work by using a combination of these methods. Self-assessment questionnaires, informal feedback for, from peers and managers, focus groups on the job observation, actual job performance skills, performance indicators, customer service, comments or complaints, and topics to cover in your assessment include. Uh, how has, how has, has how, learning been? How has learning been implemented at work? Are the learners confident to share their new skills and knowledge with their peers? All right, okay, very good, thank you. So number three or the level three on this model is behavior, all right? So what do they do in this level, guys? On the level of, level of behavior, what do they do? It's about the, the conduct for mm -hmm. the trainees. Okay. Uh, what is the result after and before that receive the, the training? Okay. All right, very good. Any any other ideas? I think at the very beginning or the first line, it's like very important. Understand how the training uh, has impacted the learners. Impacted the learners what? Performance and? Attitude, all right. So that, that that is related to the behavior, all right, of the people or of the people that were sent to the training. Now it says that you have to use a combination of methods and everything, all right. How do you how are you gonna find out their attitude and the performance? You can and they give you like some ideas here, like self assessment questionnaires, informal feedback from peers and managers. So in that case, when it says informal feedback, it's like, so how did you like it? What did you think you learned from the training? All right, so you're just talking and that's informal, nothing like really formal, all right? Focus groups, do you understand what focus groups are? Yeah, all right, very good, focus groups. Hey, Andrea, can you explain to us what focus groups are? Focus group, uh, it's a method of in investigation mm -hmm. to know the the opinion of different okay. of a group of, of people right. that is in the same like in the same uh, target okay that uh, that have the same characteristics that uh, are important to the person who are invest investigates and right. in, this, in a in a conversation Mm -hmm. with with uh, some objectives right. to know the the open answers right. of, of these people about the certain of topics right right and sometimes they can be like guided questions right so you're like like you know you find out the information that you need on the job observation if you're a supervisor and i sent oscar and andrea and diana to the training i i go around and i observe to see if how they feel about it and everything, all right? Actual job performance, key performance indicator, the, key, uh, the KPI that uh, Andrea was also mentioning before, customer service, comments or complaints. This is related, for example, with um, Jose Luis and Moises and also from Henry that they work in a hotel. This happens, and also like Oscar was saying the other day that they have customer 
surveys, like they say, like suggestions, right? Caja de sugerencias there. And you kind of go about on, on like um, reading what the customer said about the service, for example, all right? So then you have that. Number four, level four results. Who wants to read this one for me? Someone to read this? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Result, measure the tangible result of the training, such as reduced codes, improved quality, faster project, completion, completion. faster project completion, completion. Mm -hmm. faster project completion, increased productivity, productivity. Mm -hmm. retention, yes, better marketing leads, increased sales, and higher moral. K metric to measure R, improved business result, increased productivity and quality of work, employee retention, higher moral, 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 uh -huh. cost, customer satisfaction index. All right, very good. So at the end of the scale here, at the end of this uh, model of the Kirkpatrick model, you have the result, all right? which is pretty straightforward. It measures the tangible results of the training, all right? You're gonna see results. If the training was working well, and it was like, need, uh, the impact was effective, and the outcome was great, you're gonna see the results. How are you gonna see it? Where are you gonna see it? One, on the reduced cost, all right? Because you're gonna reduce costs somehow, all right? Why? Because the job is gonna be done faster, maybe, or is it gonna be more effective or people are gonna produce more? So you reduce costs, all right? You improve the quality of the product, of the service, okay? So people, uh, and, and if you read the suggestion box, um, papers and everything, then you see that people have or make comments, like positive comments about something. So that's like, if you improve the quality, all right? Or you have more people coming into your business, more people staying at the hotel, more people buying from the factory, all right, or more people like getting, I don't know, like via publicitaria done from the marketing department and stuff, or more like ads and stuff. The quality, faster project completion, everybody's more efficient because they got what they wanted, they got the skills they needed to perform the job faster and better. And they, of course, in, in, increase the productivity, all right? Employee retention, that means that your employees are not going to go to the competition. All right, so if you work for uh, the hotel that Moises works for, and Moises feels that the training he has received, they are nice, they have been interested, uh, he has improved his skills, he's not going to go to another hotel because he wants to stay there. And so does Henry, and so does Jose Luis, all right? So you retain your employees, all right? Because you're investing on them, okay? Better marketing leads, you're gonna have better, like, I don't know, more people coming in. So you're getting bigger, bigger marketing stuff. Increased sales, more people are coming into the hotel to stay, more people are coming more products. So you see the results. Higher morale is like when your employee, they feel proud of your company, all right? When you feel like, oh, this is the best company I can work for. And then you feel like, you know, you are very positive about it and you like it and you love what you do and you love the business, even though you're not the owner, but you feel that, you know, you feel related and there's a relationship between you and that company that you feel, que no hablen mal de mi empresa, because I feel great here, all right? So you have that uh, feeling with that. And then, then you have the metrics or the key metrics that you should measure, all right? So these, like this Kirkpatrick um, model is very famous, all right? And a lot of the companies in the States, all right, they follow this model. I'm not sure, and I don't know if you guys know, if here in El Salvador, because I cannot lie to you, I'm not, I really don't know, but if anybody can tell us if this model or if we follow any kind of model when we talk about evaluation of trainings. I don't know if Norma knows or Andrea or anybody, do you guys know about if we follow any particular model or if we have any?
because I'm not sure to be honest. In the no. in the company, <laughs> we have the the um, five star. Okay. Uh, is a qualified the department receive mm -hmm. for the cost internal cost. Okay. For example, I am my department is engineer and I serve to produce. Uh, produce uh, department, okay. productivity department, and then uh, I provide a specific server. And every three months or six months, uh, the company make a show, and they qualify qualify my service for there. In in a close uh, answer, or yes or no. And, and after that, they get, uh, send me to me my qualification. Okay. In order uh, we take a measure about that, that service I provide for the other department. All right. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Do you know if in your company you have a model that they follow to make some evaluations after they send you to a training? Or you have no company. idea. Okay, in Oscar. Company, uh, maybe since uh, uh, 2015, mm. five years ago, uh, the the human resource department started to implement a, a implement a, a method. Maybe this is the one because I I, I don't know mm. how do they craft Follow. their. Uh -huh, how All they, right. Okay. But they do. They do have a, a method for uh, for planning uh, training, uh -huh, for, for for planning training, and also for uh, uh, how to develop the training. This this okay. topic they do, but uh -huh. you know, it's not visible for us because I work right. in the department. Okay. I just yeah. uh, I just see the 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 things like uh, as I told you, there's um, a person who is taking attendance right and there's a uh, another person who at the end of any training session goes uh, and and to the what to say to the farewell uh, to the farewell day or to the farewell uh, not party but it's like a <laughs> reunion right reunion uh, and they are uh, it's, it's good actually it's good but sometimes uh, they missed uh, our objectives, our personal objectives. Okay. They All missed right. that, but it's, it's the company, it's not me. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. What about the rest Sorry. of you guys? Okay. Thank you, Oscar. What about the rest of you guys? Do you know if your companies, they follow they follow any type of model after they, they send you to get a training? Hi, teacher. Yes, Silvita. Yes, uh, in my company, uh, every every two months, mm -hmm. uh, the employee receive an um, evaluation. Okay. Uh, in this case, they receive a um, formulation. Uh, the evaluation means watching the process. Okay. They are teacher, teachers. Okay. We are watch of a class and mm. after the class, um, no, before the class. Okay. Very well. They receive a, a test that uh, they uh, know what uh, kind of, of things that, that are going to be evaluated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. All right. What about Diana? In your case, Diana, do you follow any type of model after you have sent your employees uh, to any kind of training, Diana? Um, we have we have a model that we use for almost every activity in our mm. business. Okay. That is related to the traffic lights. Okay. We are. Uh -huh, we have. Uh, an area that is uh, red, mm -hmm. that is the, another area that is yellow, and, and another area that is green. Okay. It depends on on if, if it is a, a really good uh, result. It is in, they are in a green area. Oh, and okay. It's like 
and it, and if it is like a middle uh, result, right. they are in a, in the yellow. In the yellow light. light. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Interesting. <laughs> all right. And so, so it's a, a really visual way to, oh, to know nice. if we are doing uh, if we are doing things right or not. Okay. Or Interesting. Not. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. All right. What about anybody else? The last one. Do you know if in your company, guys, do you follow, do they follow any type of model? Yes? Me yes, teacher. I, okay. I yeah. said oh, okay. that in, in Beta, my, in my company, uh, the um, um, evaluation, perform, performance evaluation is at the end of the year, mm -hmm. in December. Okay. If, in December, I, I, I feel that it's a deficit because in the middle of the year uh, it's necessary to to feel that about uh, ah, okay. your behavior mm. it's necessary for your increase your pace all right okay interesting all right very good okay thank you yeah thank you all right guys very good we have finished uh, the second week of your program or of your course so i do thank you very much for being with me every single night from eight to 10, I know it's difficult, but it's for your own good anyway, all right? For your own professional development, all right? Uh, I wanna remind you mm. that um, to work on your tareas of the platform, tienen que terminar hasta la tarea, después de la videoconferencia 10, que es esta, creo que es videoconferencia, 10, videoconferencia 11, y después hay una tarea, hasta esa tarea tienen que llegar. All right, porque las demás no las hemos todavía he tocado los temas, ¿verdad? Si se fijan la tarea... 2.8 creo que es, Normita. Ay, perdón, Jenny. Creo que es 2.8, pero ustedes revisen ahí. Dice videoconferencia 10, videoconferencia 11, me parece. Y luego está la tarea, esa tarea. Ok, right, teacher. Yes, eh, me la hacen, por favor. Mañana yo eso de las 2, 3 de la tarde, I will be checking. Para poner la nota, obviamente parcial, porque no se ha terminado toda la sección 2, que terminaríamos next Friday, ¿ok? So, thank you so much, guys. Have a nice weekend, all right? Be safe. Si no tiene que salir, no salga. Stay home, all right? Thank you, okay, guys. Okay, teacher. Have a nice thank weekend. you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. 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 B